Welcome to MTPCR. Today we'll be looking at the ASUS UX430UA DH74 with the brand new 8th Gen Core i7-8550U processor. When opening the box for the first time for the ASUS UX 430UA, I was greeted by, of course, the brand new laptop, a charging cable, but unfortunately, they did not have the optional protective sleeve, micro HDMI to HDMI dongle, or USB to LAN port dongle, which was a little bit of a disappointment. Battery and power. You get up to nine hours of battery life, they say on this, with a three cell lithium polymer battery. Some other features and benefits of this new laptop include a full size backlit keyboard with 1.4 millimeters of key travel, a glass covered with integrated finger sensor, at least on mine. Audio includes a Harman Kardon dual 1.5 watt speaker. Camera is HD webcam. Wi-Fi includes everything up to AC. Bluetooth 4.1. Some of the new inputs that are on the new ASUS laptop include one Type-C USB 3.1 Gen 1 with support for external display, one Type-A USB 3.1 Gen 1, one USB 2.0, one micro HDMI, one combo audio jack, and one SD card reader. And the nice part about this thing is not only its size, but its weight. It only is one point 25 kilograms or 2.76 pounds. Recently, I had an opportunity to upgrade my old laptop to a new one. Uh, my old laptop was an MSI CX61. Had the third gen i5-3210, 22 nanometer Ivy Bridge, 30 watt TDP, dual core, four thread, up to 3.1 gigahertz boost. Came with four gigabytes of DDR3, a GeForce GT 645 mobile graphics card, 15.6 inch HD 1366 by 768 screen, 750 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. So I looked at that and said, I need to go smaller with the amount of travel that I do. What can I get that's gonna be smaller and have that kind of performance and much better battery life? The laptop comes with the new 8th gen i7-8550U with a turbo to four gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of DDR2133 RAM, and a 512 gigabyte SATA 3 SSD. While hoping for an M.2 drive, the SATA drive that it comes with has pretty decent read and write speeds of 562 and writes of 464. Some of the upgrades I did to my MSI laptop in the last couple of years were 16 gigs of RAM up from the four it originally had. I installed a 500 gigabyte SSD and put a new AC Wi-Fi card. Some of the inputs my MSI CX61 had were Ethernet, VGA, HDMI, one USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, a DVD drive, audio, headphone jack, and an SD card reader. One thing you do when you upgrade to a new laptop is, well, you look for what advantages it has over to your old one. One of the things I looked for was the performance of the CPU versus my old one. Would it make a big difference? Or the GPU? Well, the only way to really do this is by running some benchmarks, so that's what we did. So how would the new quad-core Intel i7-8550U compare to the third generation dual-core with four-thread processor? When you look at some of the benchmarks, I mean, they're pretty impressive. The second part was running some of the GPU benchmarks. Well, technically, this new CPU has a 620 Intel integrated graphics part compared to a discrete graphics NVIDIA part. But surprisingly, it actually was able to keep up with the discrete card, even though it was a few years old, fairly well. 
So in summary, would I recommend buying this laptop? Absolutely. Not only is it super light and easy to carry around compared to what I had previously, but the performance is substantially better. The screen resolution is phenomenal. It's got all the latest and greatest new tech on it, and it looks fantastic. So thumbs up to Asus. The last part I'd like to mention about this is the price. Price is always an option, and it's always the probably most important option. Compared to the Dell and the HP that I took a look at before, this is probably the best value that you can get compared to those two. 